Let's go through question 4.5.13. So, question 4.5.13, part A. We got e to the power 2, 2x plus 3 divided by e to the power of 5x minus 3. Okay, so we have a division with the same base, the base e and different powers. So we got the same base. Let's write the general formula for this. Whenever we have a to the power of x divided by a to the power of y, that's equal to a to the power of x minus y. So we keep the base, but we subtract the powers. Now, how does this apply to our example? Well, we keep the base of e, but then we subtract the powers. 2x plus 3 minus, and take in brackets, 5x minus 3. Now, make sure to take always in brackets whatever you subtract, because the brackets might make the signs change. For instance, minus with the minus over here will change the sign into a plus. So make sure to always use the brackets. Okay, let's finish it off. What's e to all that power? That's just e to the power of 2x plus 3 minus 5x. And then remember, minus minus makes a plus 3. And that's equal to e to the power 2x minus 5x. That is minus 3x plus 3 and plus 3 is just plus 6. And that's it. That's the first question. And now for part B, let's solve it as well. So in part B, let's see what we have there. We got 1 divided by e to the power of minus 5t to the power of 0 0.25. So first of all, what do we have? e to the power minus 5t. What, what power rule is that? Because it's, it's something familiar to us. Well, remember the formula. a to the power of minus m equals to 1 divided by a to the power of m. So in our example, we have e to the power of minus 5t. Well, this is the negative power that we have. So the result would be 1 divided by e to the power of 5t. Okay. So if that's the result, let's let's go on. Let's substitute the result and see where we're going. Well, 1 divided by e to the power minus 5t, it's going to be equal to 1 divided by, and this is the result for e to the power of minus 5t. So we substitute 1 divided by e to the power of 5t to the power 0 0.25. Okay, 1 divided by a fraction. Well, that is 1 multiplied with the inverse. So we inverse e to the power 5t divided by 1. All of it to the power 0 0.25. Now, 1 and 1 cancels out. So we only have left e to the power 5t. So we got e to the power 5t to the power 0 0.25. And still, one more power rule to use. One more power rule to, to apply. What is that? Well, remember the following. When we have a to the power of x to the power of y, it means we have a to the power of x times y. So we multiply the powers. In our case, we would have e to the power of 5t to the power of 0 0.25 equals to e to the power of 5t times 0 0.25, which is equal to e to the power of 5 times 0 0.25. It's just 1.25 times t. And that's it. We are done.